Hi guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. How are you going? I hope you're all well. Um, I'm good. It's Sunday afternoon and I love the weekend. <laughs> um, I've been stitching, but not as much as I wanted to. And I've got stuff to show you. I had my birthday. Thanks for all the birthday wishes. Um, uh, I'll start off with my new start. I had a birthday start. Um, I told you guys I was going to start it, so I'm pretty sure. Past and Present by Rosewood Manor. Um, I started this as a stitch along with Lindsay. Uh, her YouTube name is Pink Stitcher. You should watch her, she's good. Um, she stitches lovely things. Um, so yeah, the detail in this is amazing. Look at this hard angle section. <laughs> yeah, um, I was excited to start this. I can't wait to do this darning here. I've never done darning before, but it's going to be fun. Um, so I started in the bottom left hand corner. And that's what I've done so far. Bottom left, as you can see there. So yeah, this is going to be massive. <laughs> um, it's on 28 count fabric. And when I started stitching it, I realized 28 count is enormous. Like it's cartoonishly big. Like the stitches are massive. The needle is massive. I'm using a size 24. Um, the piece of fabric that this is on, massive. It was just really, um, of course, I've stitched on 28 count many times before. I just It just seemed cartoonishly huge. Um, I didn't get a lot done. I spent most of my time stitching this, frogging it, because I kept making counting errors um, when I came around. There are four different shades of green in this line here. Um, yeah, there's lots of shading. Um, but, of course, that's what makes it look amazing, so I'm, I'm not upset. I ain't mad. The shading's gorgeous. Um, sorry, I dropped the pattern. Yeah, so I started past and present. I'm going to hold this up rather than the whip because it looks better. <laughs> um, I only worked on it for two days and because it was my birthday I didn't get much work done on those two days because, you know, it was Easter as well so I was with family and we were busy and stuff. So I'm looking forward to working on that but since it's not a year of whips piece it's not going to get a lot of love this year unfortunately. Um, the only other thing I've worked on, I've spent most of my time working on this, I'm sure this might be a surprise to you. Japanese octagon box. Oh, doesn't it look gorgeous? There you go. I love this. I love it ever so much. Um, thank you for all of your input last video when I asked about whether I should do the black and blue outlines. As you can see, I have done the black and the blue, the black outline all the way around the edge and the blue outlines here around these little sections. Um, and I caught a glimpse of it the other day from like just across the room. It was sitting on my chair there and I was over here and I looked over at it and I was like, oh, it actually looks exactly the way I wanted it to. So I'm very happy. Um, I'm getting close to a finish. <laughs> I want to finish this by maybe next weekend. That'll be good. Um, as you can see, this panel is almost done. I just have to fill in a bit more mountain here and a bit of cloud. And then I just have panel eight and I, then all this black stuff around and then the beads and there aren't very many beads on this. So I feel very close to a finish and I think it's gorgeous and I'm so happy with it. Love it. Um, it's 32 count mint Belfast. Mm, I came in a kit from European cross stitch and I started that when it was a stitch along. Um, so I started it in 2006. So only 12 years in the making, guys. <laughs> um, that's that's all I have for, for progress and new starts. Oh, I, I have actually worked a bit on this. Remember I told you at least this is a quilt, uh, not a quilt, a blanket I'm crocheting. It's from the Attic 24. It's called the Hydrangea Stripe Blanket. Um, and that's how many rows I've done. I think it's about 20, 23, 22 rows. Um, so I have a long way to go. It's really long. It's big enough for a king size bed. The colours are so pretty, aren't they? Um, yeah, I've been working on this, but not a lot. Um, the weather is getting a lot colder now. It's freezing cold here today. You know, this week on, I think Thursday, it was 29 degrees um, in the day. And then today it's 13 degrees. I think we hit it high of 13 degrees a couple of hours ago. And it's even colder now, so time to start working on this I think because I'll appreciate a warm blanket soon. Um, okay.
Okay, I've got some admin stuff to catch up on. I'm making this video quick just because Scotty, no. She's trying to eat my Japanese octagon box. We can't have that. Um, so I'm trying to make this video quick because I want to film a couple of other videos today. I need to do my year of whips update for April. Every three months we have to do an update on how we're going. So I need to do my April update before the 18th. And I also want to make a video about mania. Um, because what I did for Mania last year, and what I'm going to do this year, is I'll work on a different project every day for the month of May, and I'll vlog it. So every day I'll make a video and upload it. Um, so I don't have 31 things started now for 31 days, so I get to make probably, a, depending on how many things I finish this month, it'll five, six or seven new starts um, I'll get to make during May. So I'm going to make a video about all the new starts I'm thinking of. You know, I have probably 50 things kitted up and ready to go, but I've pulled out maybe 15 of my favourites of the things that I really want to start, and I'm going to show them all and talk about what I want to start and maybe get some input to help me decide. Um, yeah, so I have to make two other videos, not necessarily today, but soon, so I'm keeping this quick. Alright, I need to talk about my, um, what's this called? Pass the stash. Guys, my brain is not on today. I haven't had coffee yet, that's why, and it's like 2 o'clock. Yeah, it's two o'clock, I need to put the slow cooker on. Um, another reason to make this quick. Okay, Angle of Love. Nine people asked for this, and the winner was... Amy Loves Toads. There we go. Amy, this is for you. Guys, if you're not watching Amy Loves Toads, you should. Um, she is stitching a gorgeous Dimensions kit. Um, Dimensions Gold, The Finery of Nature. And since, ever since I saw it on her first video, I've been looking for it, you know, it, I've seen it, it comes up on eBay and stuff, but I don't want to pay 130 US dollars plus postage. Oh, it's gorgeous though, it's so pretty. Amy, this is for you. Um, and eight people wanted this magazine, Just Cross Stitch, um, 1989, January, February, I think. Anyway, um, eight people wanted it and the winner is Pat Van Brecht. So, Pat and Amy, if you will contact me and give me your postal addresses, I'll get these in the mail to you. Um, you can send me a private message on, on blah, send me a private message on YouTube, or you can contact me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Tashage, T-A-S-H-A-G-E, or you can email me Tashage at gmail.com. Um, I'll put all the information below in the doobly doo. So you can contact me to get your winnings. And if if you guys don't know, if you have a won anything from me before. I always send a, a couple of little extra things in to make the make the parcel a bit more fun to open because no tra no chart should travel alone, right? Um, so yeah, contact me about those. Um, while we're talking about people and things and passing things on, let's talk about Pay It Forward. I had four people who wanted to sign up for Pay It Forward. Um, if you don't remember me talking about that last week, Pay it forward is basically where someone gifted me something and told me to pay it forward to five other people. So instead of me sending her back a present to say thank you, I'm going to make presents for five people and say thank you to five people. <laughs> and then each of those five people are going to then pay it forward to five other people. So it propagates across the community pretty quickly. So I have four people already who have signed up for me to pay it forward to them. And those people are Gleaser from Made With Glee. You should watch her channel. She does interesting stitching. Interesting. And she's such an interesting person to listen to. She's obviously intelligent and well-educated and I, I'm just fascinated with her. I think she's wonderful. Oh. <laughs> I like you, Gleaser. Um, uh, Carla MC. Um, she's given me her Instagram name so I can contact her. Um, Stitching Mum of Two Monsters, which is the best name. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, and Bendy Stitchy, Michelle Garrett. Uh, everyone knows Bendy Stitchy. If you're not watching her, what's wrong? Why are you here? Go and watch her. Um, yeah, I knew she, I, I kind of knew she'd sign up because she signs up for everything, don't you, Michelle? <laughs> so all of those people are going to get things from me, stitched by me, sent to them. You know, a little care package, probably a couple of little goodies in there too, of course. Um, and yeah, but it won't be anytime soon. Let's just say that. <laughs> um, you know, I have to stitch a wedding sample for my brother. I have to go to Europe, um, I have to do mania, I don't have any time 
to be stitching gifts for people. <laughs> um, but it'll be, you know, before the end of the year, certainly. All four of these people will get something from me. Um, I still have one more spot on my pay it forward list. If you would like me to pay my thanks forward to you, please let me know. Um, let me know a way of contacting you via either Instagram or your floss tube or something. And also make sure that you're going to be happy to pay it forward to five more people. Okay, that's out of the way. Let's do haul, which is always my favorite part. Um, I haven't got these out of the bags, so I'm not going to, I'm just gonna show you. Because I wanna make this video quick so I can go and make dinner. Um, I got my fabric of the month from Under the Sea Fabrics. I love how Leslie puts in this description now telling us about it. Um, this is for March or April. It's for March or April. I don't know. Um, and it's called Anya. Anya is the Celtic goddess representing love and fertility. And I thought this pale pink would be a pretty neutral colour for spring patterns. And it's looking a little paler to you than it is in real life. It's probably because it's against my pink jumper. There you go. That's pretty good colour. It's pretty, it's very neutral pale pink. A little peachy, but just pink. It's really pretty. Um, and I get a fat quarter of Belfast. Oh yeah, remember how I talked about um, Colour Cascade fabrics and I was saying that I think I've received January, but I haven't yet received February or March. Well, I still haven't received February or March or April, and I actually hadn't even received January because after that video, I did receive January. So this is January, it is after the rain. Yep, and you can see it there. It's like purple and aqua. I guess I'd say aqua. Um, it's really pretty. Um, it's one of the colours that's available on her website. So if you want this, you can just go and order it. You don't even need to be in the fabric of the month. Um, and I get um, 28 Count Lagana in that. Um, and I also bought some fabrics from Silkweaver. So if you don't know, Silkweaver does amazing fabric, but they don't, they're not very responsive when you make an order with them. Um, but what they are good at, sorry, that's my opinion. I don't think that they're very responsive when you place an order with them. I requested to join their fabric of the month over a year ago and I still haven't even had like an, an acknowledgement or a response and I definitely haven't received an invoice or any fabric so yeah but they do update their Facebook page regularly and I think on Wednesdays and Thursdays um, they always put fabrics up for people to buy and they'll say here's a piece of 46 count antique khaki um, linen it'll be $19.75 the first person to say me please can have it so then you say me please and then you can buy it so, I bought some fabric. This one is, they're all 46 count linen. This one is antique khaki. It's gorgeous. It's a bit darker than what you're seeing. Let me turn this light down. Oh, that's much better. Antique khaki. Um, this one is dark sand. This one is wheat. And you can probably see I've already cut it already cut it up to put it in one of my possible mania starts. And this one is Golden Harvest. And I think this one's my favourite. It just has really beautiful, subtle shading. They're lovely. They're all lovely. So that was fun. That was really fun. Um, I love, I love fabric. I love high count fabric. I love neutrals. This was very fun. Um, as soon as I received these, I actually went on the next week's sale and bought a large number of fabrics um, and they're in the mail on the way to me now yeah it was a large number of fabrics but why not guys <laughs> I'm just building my fabric stash when I came back to stitching sort of early last year I thought to myself I've got a full set of DMC I have a lot of passions I have a lot of kits but I feel that my fabric stash is what's lacking so I need to build up my fabric stash and I'll tell you what I've really worked on that hard in the last year and a half and I now have a lot of fabric and I need to stop buying. I just love fabric so much. I love fabric so much. <laughs> and since I'm on um, a pattern diet this year, I'm not. I'm trying not to buy patterns. I am buying patterns if I see one that I've been looking for for a long time and it's out of print and it comes up on YouTube, sorry, and it comes up on eBay, I'm going to buy it. Um, you know, I'm... <laughs> um, but in terms of just straight up buying 
charts just because they're available and I'm putting in an order so I should add a chart to it. I'm trying not to do that. Although having said that, when I made my second order of silk weaving fabrics, I did add an order from Nash uh, a chart from, from Nashville to that order. Um, and I'll show you that when it comes in. Um, I also signed up for Victorian Motto Sampler Shop Threads. I joined the bandwagon guys. Um, I had to though. Everyone is showing them and everyone says they're so lovely and they look really lovely and I emailed Nancy and she was so nice and she said that what she does for overseas people is she can fit two packets in an overseas postage bag so you can actually pay every other month and pay postage once every two months. I think the postage was about $15 so for, to send to America. So I pay $15 for postage every other month and I get two months at once. And I think that's fantastic. And the fact that she considers that for her overseas customers and has decided to take on the work of keeping track of it and doing that, I think it's great. And I'm so thankful. Scotty, no. No. She's chewing my phone charger, guys. Um, yeah, anyway. She's amazing. She's actually, it's true, she's so helpful and she wants to make you happy and everything so I got the threads aren't they gorgeous I'm not going to take them out and show you all of them individually um, I don't know what these are <laughs> I thought I was signing up for the 12 um, primitive colors um, but I think I ended up signing for the primitive and the limited edition <laughs> every month so I think this is March limited edition and March primitive but I'm really not sure um, anyway, I, I don't care what they are. They're all gorgeous. Basically, I want as many as I can get and I'm going to keep just throwing money at her till I can get them all. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to take them out of the bags, but you can probably get a good idea of the colours there. They're gorgeous. If you haven't heard of her threads, where have you been? Um, they're 20 yard skeins. That's really good value. Um, and they cost about the same as a one five yard skein of Gentle Arts or Weeks. So they're amazing value. I mean, look at this gorgeous colour. Uh, that gorgeous colour. Amazing. Love this red. I'm crazy about it. Ah, oh, oh, I love them. I love them. I'm so happy I signed up. I thought about signing up, I think it was about November or September or, no. November or October when I had Nell at Little House Crafts talking about them first and I thought, oh, they sound really good, I should sign up for them. And I didn't. And I regret it now because I could have had months more. But, oh well. Oh well, I love these. And I'm super happy with them. And that's all my haul. That's all my whips, all my starts. I've done my pay it forwards. I've done my past the stash. I'm done. Alright guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to put dinner on. I'm doing chicken cacciatore in this slow cooker. Are you jealous? It's really good. It's like the only thing I can make, but it's really tasty. Um, uh, and then after I've done that, I'll probably come back and make another video because, as I said, I have a couple of other videos to get done soon. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> um, work's horrible, by the way. Work is terrible. But someone in my team got walked from the building just because he got given... He got given an involuntary redundancy and they just walked him out of the building with no notice and the rest of us are just like, what happened? So everyone feels very insecure and unhappy and they're about to refurbish our floor and they've done, they're doing the floors below us first and when the floor below you is done, you're supposed to move down to that floor to work but because our floor has secure infrastructure because we work for a government department, um, we can't move so we have to actually stay on the floor while they're refurbishing it. And I'm really not looking forward to that. That's going to be 10 unpleasant weeks. Hopefully I can work from home for most of it. Um, yeah, life's good. I hope you're all well. That's it. I'm done talking. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.